Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is the, it is who? It is Rosie Rosette 2020, pal. Listen, I know you lying. I know you are lying, Tommy Davidson. I know you ain't talking about J.B. Fox, baby. I know you are not talking about J.B. Fox. Let me look. Let me show you guys what this Negro was saying. I never heard from Jamie Foxx anyway. I wouldn't call it shade. I, I threw some light on the situation. The book actually was about how my odyssey can help the reader. I just pointed out all the situations that I was in that I was able to eventually transcend. It's really a roadmap for the reader that would help them transcend, that what get he does? past get through not only understand something Isn't but understand it i never heard from jamie fox anyway i wouldn't call it shade I, I threw some light on the situation the book actually was about how my odyssey can how my the odyssey i just can reach the reader. all the situations that i was in that i was able to eventually transcend i know you're lying really a road map what time is it for the reader the roadmap for the reader. Transcend. Listen, listen. I never heard from Jamie Foxx eating. Don't nobody want to talk to your little corny butt or whatever. Listen. Now, Jamie Foxx may have his issues because I think he got into it with um LL Cool J. I think he got into it with T.I. And it may be a couple other people who particularly don't care for jamie fox i never knew he was a problem but you know what they people hate people hate and then people tell the truth you know jamie fox may have an attitude i thought that i assumed because i never met jamie fox in person i did go listen i did go to it was in oakland paramount theater this is about 20 i'm gonna say 22 years ago he was performing it i swear he was looking at my cane with an orange leather outfit and then my um my boyfriend at the time, he was tall, black Negro, tall, skinny, black Negro. Okay, he looked like a basketball. He was like six five, black, with real cute. Kind of looked like Isaiah Washington. Okay, like on that level. Anyway, but I could tell Jamie was looking at me. I would. Anyway, <laughs> but no, I never met him. Um, but um, you know, I thought he was humble. I thought I heard that Jamie Foxx was hella cool. But this was before. You know, I guess he became the Jamie Foxx, the Oscar winning Jamie Foxx, even though what happened to him after he won the Oscar? It's like, you know, they have that curse. Once you win an Oscar, you really don't do anything else. Like um, uh, Denzel Washington, he won an Oscar. Whoopi Goldberg won an Oscar. You know, like he won it with Oscar. And then I think, um, what's her name? Holly Berry won an Oscar. After you won an Oscar, that's it. I'm like, I'm good. I guess they'd be like, look, Negroes, we gave you enough. You won an Oscar. Now go on now. Go on. <laughs> that's not funny. Anyway, but okay, but I'm going to tell you about how that Tommy Davidson is, okay? Because he, he ain't no good. So anyway, we was, I was at Jeffries, right? I was at Jeffries. This is when Jeffries was right across the street from um, Everett and Jones Barbecue. It was like a block away from um jack london square it was in a little it was like on the corner little club maybe the club was maybe about 2,000 square feet at the most 2,500 square feet but if people used to pack it that used to be the spot now when jeffrey's moved to 14th street eh, you know it was bigger but i i only been to jeffrey's maybe about five times but that was a spot back in the day you know people go for happy hour i remember the first time i went this white girl that i worked with she was like come on let's go to jeffrey's happy hour whatever. but she liked black men or whatever so whatever that's how i went i think I, w I was pregnant at the time the first time i went to jeffrey's i was 20 that was 28 29 years ago that was the first time i went that was the first time i went anyway she was accountant whatever we work at the same um hedge fund hedge fund corporation and pyramid building san francisco that's when i worked at the pyramid building that's when i met oprah she was for antique shop anyway so um okay so i was at jeffrey's it was at night temple you know whatever it was i was like hey look at you you know 30 years ago honey what was so cool? you think i look good now baby 30 years ago when... anyway so tommy davidson and i guess this movie was coming out but this actor joseph phillips 
you know, he always plays the, um, I wonder what is he doing now? This guy. So, you know, he, I guess I caught his attention and you know, he was, we were talking, you know, whatever. So Tommy, that's, I guess that's how he looks now. Okay. I guess this is, this is more of how he looked back then. When I met him, he looked like this, okay? This was 30 years ago, okay? 30 years ago. Yeah, about 29 years ago. 30. So he looked like this, okay? So he was, you know, he was talking to me or whatever. Tommy with his old... Did you know he... You know, well, there ain't nothing wrong with that, but don't be... Hey, he grabs him and he was like, come on, dude. You know, like you're not supposed to be talking to her. Jeffries was really small. I don't even think it was so small. I don't even think they had a VIP section. They couldn't because where were the VIPs going to go? They may have. I don't know. But that was one thing about Jeffries. Everybody was just like mingling. Tommy Davidson with his old corny butt. That's why he ain't never got the recognition that he had because he hella corny. And he a hater. He's a hater. He talking about uh, Jamie Foxx, you know, never speaking to him again. I wonder why, Tommy, you're a hater. So he grabs, uh, Philip Th Thomas Philip. What's his name? What's the guy's name? Philip Thompson. What's the guy's name? What's the guy? <laughs> Sorry. Joseph Phillips grabs him. It was like, come on, dude. You know, like, what are you doing out here? Whatever. And dude was like, you know, uh, you know, dude was like. I'm talking to her. And he was like, come on. Come on, dude. You're not supposed to be out here. I was like, what? Uh, okay. You know, and the guy, uh, Joseph, feels really handsome. You know, nice, tall, dark. You know, so I was like, hey, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, and then Tommy Davidson looks at me like, I was like, a little corny. Oh, I, 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 I could say something else. I could say something else, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, but you wonder why Jamie Foxx don't fool with you. I, I can see, I'm not saying that Jamie is perfect, but Tommy Davidson, you ain't shit. Ta Jamie Foxx may not be shit, but you ain't shit either. Are you know, just a hater with, oh no, what are you doing out here? You know, like, what are you doing? Hello? I'm not no mud ducker. You know what I'm saying? So guess what, Tommy? Karma boo karma boo you don't deserve to be called back that's why you a d or f celebrity now d or f level celebrity that's why jamie is where he is and that's why you begging for somebody's attention you don't need nobody you're too corny you too corny. ain't nobody take you serious you you know you're too cool you don't know who you want to be yeah boy bye come on now talking about jb fox and whatever you probably did something or said something or whatever and he was just like oh, oh so jamie was trying to be mean to you to impress keenan well guess what i guess the same way that you was trying to be mean to me by taking joseph phillips away while we were talking well what did he why couldn't he talk to me why 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 I mean, we all paid for our, well, I paid for my way to get injured. Well, I don't know if it was Lazy's Night or whatever, but still, why couldn't he talk to me? Well, guess what? The same reason why you didn't want Joseph Phillips to talk to me, that's the same reason why uh, Jamie Foxx is not, don't fuck with you now. Now, how about that? Now, okay? Even Steven. Now, see, you don't treat people one way and then expect it to be treated better in another way. No, I can't treat um, unhoused people one way and then expect to be you know, treated like royalty in other ways. No, honey, I treat everybody the same. You do something wrong, you gonna get cursed out either way. To I don't care who it is. Okay, you do something. You don't. I don't even expect people to do good for me. I'm. I do more good for others than people do good for me. Okay, I don't expect people to do good for me. I do what I have to do to make me feel well. Okay, I would never, you know, I told you when I was in Vegas, my bestie, she's supposed to be, you know, all saved and sanctified and all this uh, blah, blah, goes to church and the choir, blah, 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 blah. But in Vegas, you know, you, I deal with homeless people every day. So, you know, I'm not, you, I'm not saying that's the safest thing, but that's what I do. Okay, that's my fellowship. I ain't saved and sanctified. This heifer supposed to be, you know, in the church or whatever, because, you yeah. But anyway, oh, you know, oh, 
you know, we see some homeless. Oh, let's go across the street. Oh, oh like, girl, you think you're going to heaven acting, treating homeless, unhoused people like that? Do you really think you going to heaven? You know God see you doing that. You know God see you treating homeless people like they're crap, like they don't, they, they don't, um, they don't matter. That they're not human. They're they're not worthy. But yet you, you sanctified little demon, you guys think you're going to heaven. No, it don't work like that. Don't work like that. I'm sorry. And I'm not holier than now. No, no, honey. I curse and I used to, you know, used to be wild and I, yeah, you know, okay, I, I got my vices and I got a whole bunch of them, but what I ain't going to do is treat a human being like they're less than just because of their circumstances, whatever their circumstances is. I talk to everybody the same, the same way, same way. I mean, you know, except for elders, I talk to people the same way. And if I'm around someone who is rude and disrespectful to someone just because of, you know, their circumstances, not because, you know, they're doing some crazy, no, no, no. But if you, you if you disrespecting homeless people or people with issues, I, I mean, you, you, our relationship, whatever relationship it is, it won't last business relationship, personal, you know, sports work anything I, I i don't get down like that i don't get down like that you know you treat people away because of their color or their social economic status no no okay so getting back to um i'm trying to clean off my phones um <clears throat> tommy i think you deserve that and i'm trying to think was booty call before or after i think booty call was before as a matter of fact let's see let's see when booty call was let's see when booty call was okay let's go back to his films booty call okay so booty call <coughs> booty call was 1997 oh okay strictly business was 1991 oh Oh, interesting okay that's a matter of fact it was because that was right before I had my son okay so he treated me like shit or like I was less than that I shouldn't be talking to Joseph Philbus or whatever 30 years ago well guess what that's karma that's karma that's what you get karma you act like I wasn't whatever worthy enough to speak to Philip or whatever and then Jamie thought that you wasn't worthy enough to for his respect. Well, guess what? You see, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Guess what, Tommy Davidson? <laughs> You're canceled now. And Jamie Foxx canceled you. Well, gee, I wonder why he doesn't like you. I wonder why, huh? I wonder why. Gee, I wonder why he has nothing to say to you. Huh? Tommy Davidson, huh? Maybe you're an asshole too, huh? How about that? Maybe, you know, the way you treat people, Jamie saw and he was like, oh, I don't want to deal with him. Okay? He's an asshole. I don't want to deal with him. Maybe that's what Jamie, maybe that's why you've never gotten his respect. Huh? How about that? Now, you see how you treat people? You see how it comes back around? You see how it comes back around? You got to watch yourself, honey, because you never know. You never know, young man. You never know how you treat people may come right back to you. And guess what? It did. It came right back to you, huh? Yeah, it came right back to you. Yeah, Jamie Foxx, an Oscar winning person, he doesn't want to, he doesn't even, you can't even, you can't even give him mail for free, honey. You can't even email him for free. Uh oh. You can't even email that brother for free. What? Uh, Booty Call was in 1997. Listen, you know, that's over 27, 25 years ago. And he ain't talked to you since. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why, honey. You can't treat old baby the same way you thought Joseph Phillips wasn't good enough for me to talk to. Guess what? Jerry Fox thought that it wasn't good enough for him to talk to you. Now, now look at you. Huh? Now look at you. 
Now look at you begging for attention, writing books, begging for attention. That's what you get. 